Probably a million women would probably die to fuck the seeker. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> One last time, though, Richard asks if there's any way that him and Caitlin could work, to which Caitlin's like, no. <laughs> Is there any special rule or loophole? Is there a way that this can happen? And no, the door is effectively slammed shut, Richard. Sorry, pal. Yeah. Then he asks if there's any rule or law that says they can't be friends. And Caitlin gives him like a whiny no. (laughs) And he hugs her (laughs) and tells her he could really use a friend right now. And... And she cries me too into his chest. And I, it, it felt like such a real moment. Like, I feel like there's been a lot of times that me and you have had a conversation for one reason or another where you ask me something and I'm like, no, because you <laughs> know the answer. <laughs> well, <laughs> and, yeah. Well, we got to get through it. Yeah. We get through it together and it's sad but sweet all at the same time. Yeah. I mean, they can't bang. That sucks. They're yeah. still friends. And they're like, they're both going to suffer through it together, but they're both accepting that a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not going to be easy. And we're definitely going to have to bathe separate, but (laughs) (laughs) at least we're both at an understanding now where the line is. I mean, technically, (laughs) you you could bathe together, just like. No, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Six feet apart, like coronavirus rules. Uh, well, yeah, but tits. You know? Yeah. Uh, it's not going to be easy, like you said, but it could be done. Social distancing in a public <laughs> shower facility. Yeah. Everybody's naked, but six feet apart, which yeah. is probably how they would want to keep it. Not Richard and Kaylin, though. That's my point. <laughs> they wouldn't dangerous. want to, but they could. It's dangerous. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> He tries to tell her that he loves her, and she stops him and is like, don't ever fucking say that. And I think that's a little bit frustrating, because even if they can't actually... And I get it. You don't want to hear somebody loves you if you can't act on it. But at the same time, I feel like at this point, we could acknowledge our feelings. Yeah, there's no need to hide it now. Yeah. And like, I'm in love with you. You're in love with me. We can't make this work. But like, it's good to know that's how you feel. Yeah, and I mean, what's more is they are friends. That's that's the route they're both deciding to go with. We are friends. You can love your friends. Yeah. It doesn't have to. I mean, it is. <laughs> Let's not pretend it's not, but it yeah. doesn't have to be a romantic notion. Be like, hey, love you, just so you know. I feel like Kaylin's being a little bit selfish in this, which, I mean, you can get because she she's never going to feel this again, have this relationship right. again. But at the same time, like... Sometimes somebody just needs to tell you that they love you. It's not even about you. Right. He asks her, though, after this, to promise that she's not going to choose a mate until he is back in Westland because he just couldn't couldn't handle that, which, I mean, I get it. Yeah, I don't want to know about it. I want you to be happy. Not that she's going to be happy about it, but you have to do what you have to do, and it's going to be easier for me to just... Not have to see it. Yeah, I'd rather not know who you're fucking. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because, you know, murder is a thing. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. (laughs) He looks flammable. (laughs) I could destroy the sword after. Yeah, I got a magic sword, motherfucker. (laughs) At this point, Richard kind of brings the funny back into the conversation. Because he's like, Kayla, you know what? You are wrong about one thing. You said no man controls a confessor. But guess what? I command your ass. <laughs> so I'm going to hold you to your duty as a guide. How about that shit? <laughs> she does get a little weird, though. She laughs and asks what her master commands of her. <laughs> and it gets a little like, ah! <laughs> um, well, anything you say? Hmm. <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, well. <sighs> <sighs> shit. <laughs> See, Caitlin, now you fucked it up again. (laughs) You're not supposed to say, or please don't say things like that to me for future (laughs) reference, because, well, let's just not do that, okay? (laughs) I mean, to be fair, if he got on his knees and was like, mistress, command me, I'm sure she would feel the same way. Right, 
<laughs> right. <laughs> but at that point, like it's it's already beyond <laughs> saving the mission, so <laughs> Well, he tells her that he doesn't want her to give him any more trouble about killing herself and that she needs to get them to the queen and the box before Rawl and then get them away. No fucking small orders here. Nope. (laughs) Joke's done. Now you actually got some shit to do. So Yeah. Ha ha ha. Funny. Do your job. (laughs) Glad you're back to yourself. You are behind and you're going to have to come in on Saturday. Yeah. Well, since we're not going to end up fucking, you can go ahead and (laughs) and, uh, get to work. Better get to work. (laughs) (laughs) She's immediately regretting this like, oh, (sighs) damn it. (laughs) She wonders how he's always able to make her feel better even during the worst times in her life because apparently she she did not look at it that way. She was like, ha, that's funny. (laughs) And he says he's the seeker and he can do anything. But not anything. Yeah. No, not anything. <laughs> and well, and he said it kind of sadly, too, because he knows like in his head, like, huh, I, I'm smiling. Like, we're having a fun time. Mm-hmm. This is a fun conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. But he's actually like super depressed. Yeah, he's uh, he's not going to get what he wants this time. No. She says you are a rare person. Richard Cipher. And that's the end of the chapter because, you know, that makes it all better. Yep. Everything's all better. Richard's just going to go ahead and have to polish his sword <laughs> a little better himself. tonight. Yep. And I don't know what Kaylin's going to do. I don't know. She's so, gonna yeah. Have to go do some <laughs> deep internal thought. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of medication, and we are going to take a cold shower. (laughs) (laughs) No, I think that's actually something we talked about, um, not on the podcast, like just me and you. You mentioned something about, like, Kaylin and herself, because during sex, she relaxes, and then... Oh, yeah, no, if if she relaxes while she's fucking, then whoever she's touching would be hit with the power. Right. So if she's, you know, doing a manual release, so to speak, (laughs) right? And then somebody happened to touch her, they would be immediately confessed because the power's there. Like, it's, like, she's relaxed, so it's available. Right, she's primed and ready. Yeah, so you would not want to go anywhere near her when she's any in any sort of state. And I feel, or like that, anyways. Right. And I feel like maybe the confessor bros are like that too. And that's why, like, they aren't, they they just aren't holding it back. So they can just, like, walk through town, just swing oh. their dick around, just being like, hey, touch that. Yep. <laughs> hey, look <looky> here. <laughs> like a weird creep in an alley. Yeah. It's the dark oh. times. They don't need to be in an alley. Yeah. Well, that would be <laughs> dark, dark times. <laughs> Well, even though we had quite a bit of horrible shit to talk about today, um, I still had fun with you, JD. And I wanted to thank all of you listening for hanging out with us. If you wanted to write us an email, you can do that. You can just send it to podcastatt at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We are out there. If you guys wanted to help this podcast grow, you can find us at patreon.com slash podcast ATT and make a pledge. Bunch of good stuff on there if you do. And I hope all of you guys are safe and healthy and we'll see you real soon. (laughs) Bye.